Welcome back to Coach's Corner. How are you, Coach? I'm doing well, thanks. All right, so today I'm here with swimming coach, Coach Huggins, and let's just start off easy. What are some goals you have for the year? Well, um, we're hoping to win our 17th county championship. Stars Mills won for the last 16 years in a row, so of course we don't want to break that winning streak. We want to try to qualify as many of our swimmers in individual events for the state meet in hopes of you know placing a little bit higher at state. So those are the first thing is winning county in January, and then we'll look moving towards state in February. All right. So what are you? What is your plan to be able to win that 17th? <laughs> Well, um, Coach Abrams and I, who we, we kind of co-coach the boys and girls, but we work together on this. The idea is um, at the county meet, we have a girls winner, a boys winner, and then an overall winner. Mm -hmm. And the, the 17 years in a row is the overall winner. Some years, girls win first, boys win second, whatever. But we've won it overall for 16 years. So basically what Coach Abrams and I have to do is we have to watch through the season, find where our swimmers are doing their best, and put them in those events where we're sure we can score the most points. And really that's what it comes down to at county. And even at state too, it's just finding those meet, those events in the meet that the swimmers can do their absolute best. And when we score points, we win. All right, so who are some key people that you've already seen so far? Maybe leaders, maybe just some people that you see doing their best? Um, we've got a group of kids that swim year round. Um, some of them swim with SCAT. We have a swimmer that swims with Tara, a couple of girls that are at Swiss Swim Atlanta. These are kids who swim five or six days a week. They're in the weight room two or three days a week. So they are typically our strongest swimmers and we always depend on them. Um, I've got one senior girl this year, it's Donna Blom. Donna's a returning um, state champion and she just committed to go into Georgia to um, swim for them. Um, so you guys won over the weekend and you got second at your first competition and so what do you think that this is going to play throughout the season just starting off really strong? Well it's always nice it's a big confidence booster for the kids um, the first meet in Columbus I think I kind of been the reason that we didn't um, finish first not because I was in there swimming but because I didn't place maybe I didn't strategically place my swimmers as well as I should. The preliminary meets unlike football and basketball they just get us to the county meet. We don't have a win-loss record, so to speak. I mean, yes, of course we love to win, but we also want to get our swimmers to swimming different events so maybe they can qualify for more state events. I didn't necessarily put people like Donna in her strongest event. She still scored first and she still got us points, but um, we just try to try people out at different in, in different events. Each swimmer gets to swim two individual events and two relays. And so there are 11 different events for girls and then 11 for boys. So we want to be able to let them experiment a little bit. So I didn't really place our kids best for us to win at that first meet. But again, it's all building up to January in the county meet. So we got some experience Some people are swimming some different things and we'll continue to shift some people around. So, you know, there may be another second place finish in there, but we're okay as long as we win in January. <laughs> okay, and so, what were some changes that you had going from that first competition to the second one, maybe with placement of people, maybe with trying a new way of practice, anything? We um, are really lucky this year. We have an assistant coach helping Coach Abrams and I. Um, her name is Sarah Ivey. She's a teacher at Oak Grove Elementary, but she's a Stars Mill graduate. Um, she graduated in 2008. She swam for Stars Mill the whole time she was here. She swam for Barry College. So she's got a ton of competitive swimming experience. So we're really relying on her. She's writing some really good workouts for the kids, and we feel like we're getting them in the best possible shape. This year we are doing um, out of the pool workouts two days a week instead of one. So the idea is that our kids are getting more conditioned, they're getting stronger. If you're stronger in the weight room and in conditioning, then you're a more conditioned swimmer. The change from the first event, I mean the first meet to the second meet really was some event placement. And I think some of our girls got over those first meet jitters and uh, kind of settled in. Girls and boys, you know, kind of settled into that second meet a little bit better. So with this new coach, are you seeing a lot of improvement in swimmers, having another person to be able to help them? Um, we are, we're beginning to see that. We're be, I think as the season goes on, we'll see more and more. She's got some very good technical knowledge that Coach Abrams and I don't just don't have. And also just having three people on the pool deck instead of two, we're able to work with the swimmers individually a little bit more. Okay, thank you, and thank you guys for watching.